see how the surface is etched by the tetracycline. Okay, we're using an Orban knife. And this allows us to do a full thickness connected flat mobilization. This is a modified Orban knife, modified by Pat Allen. Um, I watched his video and I love this thing. I'll tell you, Dennis in general and Periodontis as well. There is no loss for people who are innovative, people that embrace change. Overall, dentistry, I, in my opinion, is pretty conservative and slow to change, but, you know, there are some people that are just on it way more. And we're using a little um, endo surgery spoon. Got a little straighter angle, which is nice. Okay, so we got this to move quite a bit. Mm-hmm. And he talks right into the video. Oh, is he recording it? Mm -hmm. That Willie is such a character. Man. Done with the coronal positioning on 12, 13, uh, allodrum grafting, root coverage on 11, and then also on number 14. We're going to put perio pack on and take a look at it in a couple of weeks.
Here's a one month healing of the um, grafting on the uh, upper left segment, 11 to 14. And um, focus a little more back. It's got good root coverage and got a little marginal gingivitis on number 11. And um, get them to do more sulcular brushing. Normally, I'll have people just, patients just brush coronally from from the uh, the gingiva coronally at first and um, we're going to take a look at this in another couple months. So this is the six month healing of the alloderm grafting we did in the 11 to 14 area. 14 still has some recession um, but we've covered uh, maybe half of that. Uh, 11, or 11 got all covered, 12 and 13 there's 12 has just a little bit of recession on the distal facial aspect, um, but we got thicker tissue and it appears to be pretty stable at this point.